guys, welcome back. So this is gonna be a really quick little intro. We're gonna be getting ready together today and we're gonna be using a bunch of new drugstore stuff that I've picked up recently so that you can kind of see these products in action. And yeah, this is the look. So that's what we're gonna be doing. If you're new to my channel, my name's Leslie. Welcome, I hope that you will subscribe and stick around for a while. And let's get to the get ready with me. Okay, so I've already applied some moisturizer and also the Pure Cosmetics Correcting Primer. And now I'm gonna take this Physician's Formula Cushion Foundation. This is their talc-free all-in-one ABC Cushion Foundation, SPF 50, and this is in light. And I am gonna use a little sponge that it comes with, and I'm just gonna dot this on my face. I found, sometimes I'll go back in with a brush, but um, I actually like using the little spongy dealy with this. And this color matches me fairly well. So you can see that I do kind of build that up a little bit because on first application, it's sort of more sheer light coverage and I prefer a little bit more kind of medium coverage, but I do really like it. I get a little bit shiny throughout the day, but not that bad and it doesn't really break down a lot. So I just have to do a little bit of blotting, but I actually really like that a lot. So now I'm gonna apply some of my um, Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. I just found this recently. It basically seems like the Fergie Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer, just with different packaging. So I do really like this primer. And then while that's kind of setting, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna take my NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. This is in blonde and my NYX Micro Brow Brow Pencil in taupe. And I'm just using a random Bodyography Pro brush for this. Now I'm gonna take my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and apply that all over my lids as my base. I really find that this helps, I don't know, cancel out discoloration, but also the shadows I'm gonna be using, this helps to really give them something to stick to. Now I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl True Naked Goldens palette, and I'm gonna get some of this blending shade right here on a Sedona Lace EB15 brush. I'm just gonna apply this into my crease and transition area. Now I'm gonna take a Delium Tools 781 brush and get some of this green color, and I'm going to apply this into my outer corner and also the inner corner of my eyes. And I'm bringing this over across my crease a little bit just to kind of blend everything. Now we get a little bit more concentration of color on the inner corner of my eyes. I'm gonna use a Sedona Lace and 904 brush with that same color and just apply a little bit. I just wanna make sure that I do have some on the inner corners of my eyes so I can kind of get that like halo eye look. take a little bit of this lightest shade right here and apply it with a no-name brush. This was, I don't remember, from CVS or something? Maybe it's Eco Tools. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to just apply this as my brow bone. Then I'm going to take some of this Palladio Crushed Metallic Shadow. This is in Stellar. And I'm going to apply this with my finger right to the center of my lids. And then you can go back in with your brushes and do a little bit of blending. And then I want that to be a little bit more intense. So I'm gonna get a little bit of it on a Real Techniques detailer brush and wet my brush with some MAC Fix Plus and apply that to my lids again. And then to deepen up the outer corner of my eyes just a little bit more, I'm gonna get some of this darkest color 
on that same pencil brush from earlier and apply just the tiniest little bit of that to my outer corners. Now I'm going to tight line with my NYX uh, Trey Jolie liner and line my upper lash line with my Jane water resistant eyeliner in brown and I'm going to smudge that out with just like a no name, I think this is Coastal Scents, um, liner angled brush thing. Now I'm going to line my lower lash line with that same brown pencil and I'm going to go over that with this kind of like bronzy sort of a shade right here and my Sedona Lace EB21 brush. And then to kind of brighten my eyes just a little bit, I'm going to use this Rimmel Scandalized pencil in Nude. I'm going to line my waterline with this one. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro. For my concealer today, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair. Then I'm going to go over that with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. And then I'm going to use my Sedona Lace 217 for this one and just apply this one with my fingers. Now I'm going to set my under eyes with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dolce de Leche. And this is an e.l.f. small tapered brush I'm going to use for that. I'm going to set the rest of my face with this um, City Color HD powder and just an e.l.f. powder brush. I'm actually going to set down my nose and like the middle of my forehead with this powder too. Do a little bit of contouring and also bronze up my face with this same contouring palette and my Delium Tools 945 brush and my Delium Tools 992 brush. Sometimes I go along the side of my contour to kind of like blend it so that it's a little bit smoother and I'm using the same brush that I kind of like set my t-zone area so yeah that seems to kind of like help blend everything. For blush I'm going to first apply some of my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rose Champagne and I'm going to top that with just a little bit of apricot in the middle right on the apples of my cheeks and I'm just going to use I don't even know what this is called. It's a Tarte blush brush of some kind that I got in some kind of a set. I love that Rose Champagne blush. It just has the nicest bit of like sheen and it just looks so pretty and natural on the cheeks. I love it. And then lastly for lips, I'm going to use my Jordana Easy Liner for lips in Tawny, shocker, and my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss in Bare Attraction. I love this so much, and y'all know I love Tawny. I use Tawny probably way too much. All right guys, so here is the completed look. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what some of your favorite new things are at the drugstore right now. This is such a fun time of year. I wanna know some of your favorite things that you have discovered recently. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.